Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna review Microsoft To Do. I first reviewed Microsoft To Do back in February 18 and it had just come out of preview and was looking really good. If you wanna watch that review, that will take you through the basics of To Do and how it works. Things like creating lists and tasks. In this review, we're just gonna have a look at the differences, so the things that have been added since then. For me, there's four big things that have been added that have been really useful for me personally. And the first one is multiple accounts. So the ability to add more than one account to do so you can switch between profiles. Second is to have Outlook integration so you can flag emails. Then we've got integration with Planner so you can have Planner tasks in to do. And then finally, they've just released to do for Mac. We'll have a look at that too. Before we get started, if you like this video, then please subscribe and give us a like because it really helps and we're posting every week so I don't want you to miss anything. First let's have a look at multiple accounts. So just a caveat here, this only works in the Windows Store version of Todo. It doesn't work in the browser and it doesn't work on the Mac App Store version. So if you're using Windows Store version, you'll notice at the top left after you've logged in, there'll be a drop down and you can choose manage accounts. When you choose that, it shows you which accounts are signed in. Now to use to do, you must have at least one account signed in. In this case, I've got one called Megan and she's logged into Office 365. So you can add an account from here. Now what this gives you is a view on the accounts that are already registered with your Windows computer. So you've got, I've got one here called Megan and then I've got another one called Outlook.com. That's an account that's attached to this Windows 10 device. Now I could just choose that, which would mean I wouldn't have to log in, or you can go down here and choose either a work or school account, which is Office 365, or a Microsoft account. When you do that, choose and continue, it prompts you to log in. And that also allows you to add this to the device. Once you've gone through that short wizard, the new account is going to show up and you'll have the profile for that account and all the lists and tasks that are associated with it. And then if you ever want to switch back, you just come up to the accounts, choose your second account, and then it will switch the profile back. Another great new feature in To Do is the ability to flag an email in Outlook and have it show up as a To Do task. Now, I don't know about you, but the way I like to work is I don't really keep many folders in Outlook. I just like to flag things as they come in. So if I need to do something about an email, I'll just hit the flag button or right click and go to follow up and then choose a date as well. And that shows me that I've got to do something. Now, what happens now in to do is that that flagged email will show up automatically in a list called flagged email. So if I just click on this, you'll see that item that I just flagged has popped up. Now I can now add that to my day and I can just treat it as a normal task. Another nice thing it does is if you complete that task in to do and then go back to Outlook, you'll notice that that email is no longer flagged and it has a little tick next to it to show it's been completed. Another thing we have now is integration with Planner. As a plan owner, I can create a task for someone and have it show up in their to-do task list. If I come here in Planner and create a new task, and I assign that to Megan, and add that task, here's the task. Now very soon, that shows up in a list called Assign to Me. And the assigned to me list is all the tasks that have been assigned to you with Microsoft Planner. And before you know it, that new task has appeared in my assigned to me list. Here it is, make a video. When I click on it, you'll see in the right hand pane now, I've got some information about the task. I can manage it, I can add it to my day, put a due date on it, and I can also open it in Planner. So if I click on this open in Planner, it'll actually open up my browser and show me that task. So here it is, it's popped up, it's actually opened the task up for me so I can see a lot more information that Planner stores for it. 
Another nice touch is if I complete this task from to do, it will then close the task down in Planner as well. Finally, let's look at the Mac version of to do. So that was just released recently and it's looking pretty good so far. It looks and feels exactly the same as the Windows Store app. We've got the same features and functionality. So we've got the My Day list. We've got our important planned and tasks and we can also create new lists. We can drag drop tasks from different lists just like we can with Windows. We can flag them as important and we can also add dates to make them planned and when we do that the tasks show up in the important list and the plan list and also my day we've also got the outlook integration if we flag an email in outlook it's going to show up in our flagged email list we can create our own lists like i've done here and we can create new ones as well you can also share lists in exactly the same way as you can with Windows. I'd say the only major things missing for me are the planner integration. So I use planner a lot and I like to be able to have my planner tasks show up in to do. I've got used to that in the browser, but it's not here yet. But actually in the release notes, Microsoft said they were working on that. So it should follow along pretty soon. The other thing that's missing is the multiple accounts. So you can only have one account in the Mac Store version of To Do. Okay, that's the review of Microsoft To Do. I hope this helps. If you like the video, then please subscribe and give us a like. And I'll see you next time.